Hi everyone, welcome to Rao's Chemistry Classes. So in this video, I am going to start one important basic topic that is periodic table that is also called classification of elements and periodic properties. Classification of elements and periodic properties, this is the basic concept, this concept comes in 11th classes. Yeah. So, ये topic आपको अच्छे से समझ में आया तो automatically आपको chemistry easily समझ में होते हैं. So, that's the reason you should focus on this concept. This is very much important basic concept. If you understand this concept thoroughly, then you can able to understand all inorganic chemistry as well as total chemistry also. Yeah. So, first in this video, I am going to discuss history of the periodic table and basic terms and basic definitions. Yeah. Just have a look. What is periodic table? Arrangement of all the noun elements according to their properties so that similar elements fall within the same vertical columns. Vertical column is nothing but group, don't get confused. And dissimilar elements are separated. That indication remaining, it's like horizontal. Horizontal is nothing but period. Are you getting my point? Yeah. Next, so total periodic table contain how many noun elements? Till date, total. 118 elements are there. Yeks of atra elements are there. Yeah. So, first, let's discuss about history of the periodic table, background of the periodic table. So, so, what was the first recorded attempt of periodic table? In 18th century, one German chemist is there. His name is Doberiner. What Doberiner said? He identified elements with similar properties and grouped them into group of three, hence the name triad. What is the meaning of triad? The triad is nothing but three. Yeah. And this concept is applicable for group, not period, group. Yeah. Next. When you arrange these three elements according to their atomic weight, the atomic weight of the second element was roughly the average of the atomic weight of the first and third element. So, what is the definition of Dauber in our triad? First point, triad is nothing but 3. What is the meaning of triad? Triad is nothing but group of 3. Yeah. So, when you arrange elements their atomic weight, the atomic weight of the middle element is equal to the arithmetic mean of first and third element. So, Doberiner triad is the first recorded attempt. Yeah. Actually, at that time, only 53 elements were known. But this concept has a limitation. First, we need to discuss the limitation. What is the limitation? This is the limitation. He identified only three triads from known elements at that time. This concept is suitable for few elements only. This concept is suitable for few elements only. Yeah. So, what are the three triads? Let's discuss one by one. These are the triads. This is the first triad and this is the second triad and this is the third triad. What is the first triad? Lithium, sodium, potassium. These are the three elements. So, this is the first element, this is the second element, this is the third element. Then second triad, calcium, strontium, barium. First, second, third. Next, chlorine, bromine, iodine. First, second, third. So, what is the definition here? The atomic weight of the middle element is equal to the average of atomic weight of first and third element. This concept is called Doberiner triad. Just have a look. When you look at first triad, lithium, sodium, potassium. So, these are the atomic numbers and these are the atomic weight. Yeah. When you take sodium, sodium atomic weight is 23. This is the middle of the element. Let's check it. First one and last one. First one lithium 7 and potassium 39. So, how to calculate the arithmetic mean? Average. Average means 7 plus 39. 7 plus 39 by 2. You will get 46. 46 by 2, 23. So, this is 23. This is 23. Is it clear? Yeah. And uh, one more important point to sometimes uh, average arithmetic means so uh, 0.11 ga. difference ayat to bhi chalta. Yeah. Next when you look at second triad calcium, strontium, barium. So this is the strontium, this is the middle element. The arithmetic mean of these two. Yeah. What is the arithmetic mean here? 
40 plus 137 by 2, you will get this much value. 88.5, here 87.6, 87.6, 88.5, only 0 0.9 is the difference. So that is a negligible difference. Yeah. Next, when you look at last triad, that is the third triad, chlorine, bromine, iodine. So this is the chlorine, this is bromine, this is the iodine atomic weight. Yeah. So first one and last one, first one and last one. When you take arithmetic mean, you will get 81.5. But here, what is the value? 80. So 80, 81.5. What is the difference? Just 1.5 is the difference. That is the negligible atomic mass difference. Is it clear? Yeah. So what is the limitation here? He identified only three triads from known elements at that time. Yeah. This concept is suitable for few elements only. Actually, at that time, only 53 elements were known. That's the reason this concept was failed. But I don't say this concept is failed. This concept was the startup, isn't it? Yes, carry on. So after failure attempt of Dauber inner triads, one more scientist came. His name is Newland. Newland. Scientist name is Newland. So he has given one concept that is Newland law of octaves. What is the meaning of oct? Oct is nothing but eight. So he has given one statement. Before that, I would like to give this one. Sari gama padanisa. So everybody knows. Sari gama padanisa. Sari gama padanisa. This is first letter, second letter, third letter, fourth letter, fifth letter, sixth letter, seventh letter, eighth letter. So when you look at first and eighth letter, so similar. First one is a sa. Eighth one also sa. So what is the statement of this one? Yeah. Every eighth element has a similar properties when the elements are arranged in the increasing order of their atomic mass. When you look at uh, uh, first example, will you take this one? Lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, sodium, like that, like that. Yeah. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah. So, lithium is the first element, sodium is the Eighth element. Everybody knows lithium sodium having same properties. Why? Because lithium sodium both belongs to first A group. Both are alkali metals, isn't it? Yes. But actually, this concept is applicable up to calcium only. So ultimately, what I want to say is this concept is applicable for only lighter elements up to calcium. After calcium, this concept does not work out. After calcium, this concept did not have similar properties. Yeah. So, if when you look at uh, limitation, you will get clarity. So, just look at uh, limitation. It was applicable to lighter elements having atomic mass 40 U. U is nothing but atomic mass unit. That is the symbol. Next, means up to calcium. After calcium, the first and eighth element did not have similar properties. The first and eighth element did not have similar properties after calcium. That is the reason what I want to say is this concept is applicable to only up to calcium. So, it actually at that time only 56 elements were known. At that time, uh, Nobel gases are not found. Based on Dauber inner triode concept and Newland law of octet 2 concept, one more scientist came in 19th century. His name is Mendeleev. So, what is the Mendeleev periodic law? This is the definition. The physical and chemical properties of the elements are the periodic functions of their atomic weight. What is the definition? The physical and chemical properties of the elements are the periodic functions of their atomic weight. So, this concept is based on atomic weight. Yeah. So, what is the limitation of this concept? Yeah. So, according to this concept, position of hydrogen was not justified. Hydrogen place exactly neither. Next, to, at that time, actually gallium, scandium, germanium elements were not discovered. He could not maintain the increasing order of atomic masses. He could not maintain the increasing order of atomic masses. But almost this theory has uh, several achievements also. Based on Mendeleev periodic table, one more scientist came. His name is Mosley. Mm. So, actually present we are following a Mosley periodic law. Present we are studying Mosley periodic uh, table that is also called modern periodic table. Yeah. Next we will discuss modern periodic law. Just have a look. So what is the definition? The physical and chemical properties of the elements are the periodic functions of their atomic number otherwise electronic configuration. So ultimately you have to notice one important point here that is Mendeleev periodic law based on atomic weight. 
but mostly periodic law based on atomic number. So what is the definition? The physical and chemical properties of the elements are the periodic functions of their atomic number or electronic configuration. So it concept, so this concept based on atomic number. So according to this concept, so modern periodic table contain total how many groups and how many periods. Periodic table contains 18 groups and 7 periods. 18 groups and 7 periods. Actually group is represented by vertical columns, group is represented by vertical column like this. Period is represented by horizontal row, it is represented by horizontal row and it is represented by vertical column, vertical column. Yeah. So when you take first year group, first year group is nothing but alcohol metals. So when you take first year group, you will get these, these are the elements, you will get these are the elements. Lithium, Sodium, Potassium, Rubidium, Cesium, Francium. So here all these elements have similar properties. Mm -hmm. So what is periodic table? Arrangement of all the known elements according to their properties so that similar properties are falling within the same column, vertical column that is nothing but group and dissimilar elements are separated, isn't it? Yeah. So, dissimilar elements is nothing but horizontal row, similar elements is nothing but vertical column. So, this is periodic table. So, what is mostly periodic law? The physical and chemical properties of the elements are the periodic functions of their atomic number. So, mostly periodic law is also called modern periodic law. So, it is based on atomic number. What about Mendeleev periodic law? Mendeleev periodic law based on atomic weight. Yeah. Next. Asal, what is group number? Total periodic table contain 18 groups. What is group number? There is a one formula. Group number equal to group number equal to valency electrons. What is the formula? Group number is generally represented by G. G is nothing but valency electrons. So, what is the definition of valency electrons? The number of electrons present in outermost energy level are called valency electrons. The number of electrons present in outermost energy level are called valency electrons. Yeah. So, when you take sodium, sodium atomic number 11, this is the electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. So, this is the first energy level, this is the second energy level, this is also second energy level, but this is the third energy level. Here, third energy level is the ending energy level, outermost energy level. So, energy level, shell, orbit, period, meaning is same. Don't get confused. Terminology is different, but meaning is same. Yeah. So, how many electrons here? Only one electron is there. So, the number of electrons present in outermost energy level, this is the outermost energy level. Outermost energy level contain only one electron. That indication, valency electron equal to 1. So, what is the group number? Group number also 1. Generally, group number we can represent Roman letters. Yeah, actually 1A. Is it clear? So, how to write electronic configuration? If you want to write electronic configuration, you just go through my video. How to write electronic configuration? Already I have uploaded one year back, I have uploaded in my channel. You just go through uh, my channel, you will get that video. So, based on Moyler's diagram, we can write electronic configuration. So, each and every chemistry student, that is the basic concept, compulsory apko, wo kaisa likna ana padega. Electronic configuration kaisa lekna naya eto asal tum chemistry student hai nahi. Are you getting my point? Yeah. So that's the reason you have to learn how to read electronic configuration. Yeah. So here uh, group number equal to valence electrons. Sodium contain how many valence electrons? Only one. That's the reason first year group. Yeah. Sometimes in examination they are going to ask like this. Sometimes in examination they are going to ask like this. Is the sodium belongs to which block? Why? Because periodic table contain four blocks. Left side S block, right side P block, middle side D block, bottom side F block. Isn't it? Yes. Hmm. So, last electron present in S orbital. That's the reason. What is the block here? What is the block here? This is the S block. Next, sometimes they are going to ask, uh, sodium belongs to which period? Which period is nothing but last energy level? Last energy level is nothing but third. That's the reason. This is the third. Are you getting my point? Yeah. Carry on. Next, sometime if for better understanding purpose. For better understanding purpose, I am going with one more example. My example is carbon. 
So carbon atomic number is 6. Its electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. So how many valency electrons here? 4 valency electrons. Why? Because this is the first energy level. This is second energy level. This is also second energy level. So here second energy level is the last energy level. Here second energy level is the outer energy level. But 2 times higher. 2 times higher to 2 times level. No problem. Yeah. So 2 plus 2 total 4 valency electrons. So how many valency electrons here? 4 valency electrons. So what is the group number? Already I told you valency electrons is equal to group number. That is the reason 4. And generally S block or P block represented by A series. Yeah. What is the block? That is also very simple. Where is the last electron here? These are the last electrons. Last electrons present in P orbital. That is the reason this is P block element. So what about period? What is the last energy level? This is the last energy level. That is the reason this is second period. Is it clear? Yeah. So for better understanding purpose, I am going with one more example. Yeah, take this one. You take this one. Lithium. What is the lithium atomic number? 3. It is very simple. So lithium 3 is nothing but you have to write like this. 1s2, 2s1. So 2 plus 1. Total 3 electrons. So atomic number equal to number of electrons. Are you getting my point? This is also formula. But how many valency electrons here? This is the first energy level. This is the second energy level. So second energy level contain how many electrons? Only one. That's the reason. What is the group number? First. What is the block? Which is the last electron here? This is the last electron. It is present in S. That is S block. What is the period here? So what is the last energy level? This is the last energy level. Two number. That's the reason. This is second period. Is it clear? Okay. Yeah. Just have a look.